Okay, so let's do now some phoneme manipulation questions. This is the most advanced part of phonemic awareness. And remember, uh, phonemic awareness is part of phonological awareness, right? Uh, I'm going to do that triangle. Always keep reviewing this stuff so you don't get confused. Phonological awareness has those four levels, word level, syllable level, onset and rhyme level. You're going to have questions in each one of these levels in the phoneme level. And that's where we are right now. Phonemic awareness is the phoneme level. And on that phoneme level, that phoneme level uh, can be broken into all these different skills, right? Now, we've already talked about this, but there's some beginner stuff beginner skills, a little bit harder intermediate. And now what we're going to do is some questions involving advanced phonemic awareness. And this tends to be questions involving either adding or deleting or substituting or doing some type of manipulation of sounds in the word. So if you ever have a question and it's involving phonemes in a word and it's involving adding a phoneme, deleting a phoneme, substituting a phoneme, then right away in your head, you're thinking advanced phonemic awareness, okay? So it's not just phonemic awareness, it's the advanced. I know we, we take all these ideas for granted, right? You know, it's like, I know this stuff, but but when a child is, is developing their language at an early age, they, they go through this and uh, it's these subtleties as their language improves where you start to see these things. It happens very early on. You don't, you don't, you probably don't even remember when you learned all this stuff. But very early on, these uh, as language progresses, the brain is making all these connections, and and some of it is subconscious, and some of it has to be clarified and taught. But they're building up to this point where, at some point, you don't even remember when you learned it. You're able to take a word and you're able to add, delete, manipulate the sounds, and you do it. It's second nature. But when you're first starting out. Sometimes it needs to be clarified a little bit, okay? So let's look at this advanced, let's look at some questions involving this advanced stuff. And uh, the first one is going to involve um, manipulation where we um, add and delete a sound and change it. So here we have an activity where we have the word wag and the student identifies, in this activity, the, the first word is wa. And we're gonna take that sound out, delete it and change it for ta. So we delete a sound. Then we substitute a sound and we get the new word tag. Is that right? But here's another one here. We have dad. We have to identify the D, delete that D, add an H, and we get had. How about this one right here? We have ham. We uh, take away the huck and ham, and then we add the J and get jam. Now this activity right here involves hearing a phoneme. We got to hear it. Uh, we identify it and delete it, and then we substitute in a new phoneme and form a new word. This would be an example of phoneme manipulation, this type of activity, and this would be sort of advanced phonemic awareness, right? 